I want to ask you just very briefly. Um, so, I think you mentioned uh, in in the panel most of your thoughts on, on the subject already. But um, as far as investing in new technology, Liechtenstein is a very small market. But do you think it can use uh, this new technology to kind of have a multiplier effect on uh, the businesses that are there? Uh, you know, we we have to, we have we have uh, two things to see. Uh, Liechtenstein was always a very export-oriented ca country, sort of in the services, was yeah. always in, in, the, in the manufacturing, because simply of, uh, from the size, so the own market is pretty small. But we want to keep our systems efficient. Okay. So I think that our administrative systems, etc., from government, they will look uh, very intensively to it to keep our, uh, our administration lean, because we want to have a lean administration and efficient administration. But it's also in the business. And what I believe, if we look at the blockchain development, I think it will much faster develop, probably, in the manufacturing industry, in logistics, in transportation, than as, let's say, an asset class where, where you invest or as a currency. I think it will also develop as a currency. But it also very, very necessary that the banking industry will adapt to that because I think it will really change the business model of the banks. Yeah, I think it really will. And um, so, what do you think is the biggest problem that Liechtenstein has that blockchain could solve uh, in, the, in the near term, not in the long term? Uh, you, you mean in introducing that? Or yeah, in, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I, I think one has to be uh, careful. One has, when you put in a new technology, you have to know and to realize that you can dominate it, that, that you can use it and that you can use it properly. Yeah. And you know, also when you buy the first car of a series of cars, mm -hmm. It's a prototype. It will never be perfect. Okay. So you, you, you have to see, uh, you have to be there early, but, but you have to be cautiously in introducing it. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to be kind of the early adapter of something that's unproven. Yeah. And, um, I'm not having an against early adapter, but it has to be looked at uh, okay. very closely. Yeah, typically a lot of the companies that we work with in Japan uh, run blockchain systems in parallel with the traditional systems, just more as a test than anything else. They want to build a few years of experience and then uh, use this kind of switch over. Yeah. In, in sense. You can run it per parallel for a while to, to test it, which you normally do also when you introduce a new software. So, so long term, you think blockchain could have potential to kind of transform uh, logistics and payments and. Uh, I, I uh, think it will, it, it, will, it, it, will, it will transform because it is a tool that it was said be, uh, before by one of my colleagues in the panel. It's a tool which makes man more efficient. Okay. And yeah. the important thing is that man controls it and not man is controlled. That you, that the system works for man and not the man works oh, for the system. Yeah, that's a real passion of mine. Um, so you probably know the uh, American philosopher, Lewis Mumford, uh, so he talked a lot about polytechnic versus mon monotechnic, and uh, monotechnic was technology for technology's sake, and polytechnic was technology for society's sake, and I think many people kind of forget about that a lot when uh, creating new technologies. No, this is important. I think if you have a new technology, you have to know what it is for. You have to use it properly. Yeah, and that's, yeah, so, well, thank you for your time. I thank you. I'm not going to keep you here forever, thank you. so. Okay, uh, thank you.